Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can edit Instagram stories in DaVinci Resolve. So first of all, go ahead and create a new Fusion composition. Head over to this composition. I have this image that I'm going to be using for this edit. And I also have this effect, this texture effect. You can find this on unsplash.com. So first of all, let me go ahead and drag this background and connect this with the media out. Now click the background and go over to the image section. And first of all, unselect this auto resolution and then set the width to 1080 and the height at 1920. So this is the setting for our Instagram story. Now what you need to do is drag this image and connect this with the background. Okay, so you can see we have the image. And let's go ahead and make sure that this is covering the whole screen like this. Let's go over to the merge and set the size at 3. Now in our timeline, let's go over to 20 and set a keyframe at size. And at 0, let's go ahead and change this to 5. Now let's go ahead and add another background. Let's connect this over here. First of all, let me go ahead and change the angle to 90. So here you can see this covers the whole screen. And let's go ahead and change the color to white. So go over at 0 and in the merge, go ahead and set the blend at keyframe at blend. And then go over at 15 and then set the blend to 0. So this is how it will look like. Now let's go ahead and add our texture. So I'm going to connect this over here like this. And in the merge, let's go ahead and change the angle to 90. And set the apply mode at light. So this is how it will look like. And of course, you can use any texture that you have. Now let's go ahead and click control space and search for this and add this over here. Let's go ahead and connect this effect and set this to 0 0.4 like this. Now let's also search for blur and connect this. Now add 20, go ahead and set a keyframe at 0 and at 0, go ahead and set this to 45. So if we play this now, you'll see we get, an, get a blur effect as well. Now let's go ahead and add a text. So I'm going to simply drag this text over here and connect this. And let's go ahead and write visit us. And let's go ahead with a light italic and send this to 0 0.1 set this over here and now let's go over at 40 at 50 sorry and select our text go into the layout and create a keyframe at center and at 40 just simply drag this out of the screen like this so this is how it will look like but let's also go ahead and spline and select our text make sure you select or select the keyframes over here and hit s on the keyboard you can go ahead and click ctrl t and this will give you a more precise option of ease in so let's set this at 50 and now see this is how it will look like this looks much better all right, so now let's go ahead and add another background. Connect this with our merge. And once again, I'm going to change the angle to 90 and change the color to white, like this. Okay, but this time I'm going to drag this polygon over here and let's go ahead and connect this with the background. Now go ahead and create a zigzag looking effect like this. Let's set the soft edge at 0 
and the border width at 0 0.2 as well and let's go ahead and select invert and unselect this solid and also set the level at 0 0.3 this is how it will look like okay so go over at 30 and set the length at 1 and hit a create a keyframe over here go over at 25 and then we can go ahead and set this at center at 0 0.5, around 0 0.5, and then go over to 20 and set the length at 0. Okay, and also go over to spline, unselect the text and select the spoiler bar. Select the length and make sure that you select the keyframes and hit S like this. And if you play this now, we'll see this is how it will look. And one final thing is to add this text and let's go ahead and connect this. This is the text. And this is the font that I'm using. Harmony. And let's set this at around 0 0.21 and now let's go ahead and position this right here. And let's go over at 60. Select the text and create a keyframe in write on, and then go over at 40 and then set this to zero. So here we have our Instagram story done. Let's go ahead and see how this looks. And now go over to your main timeline. And over here, if you don't know how to do this, go ahead and create a new timeline. And if you have a timeline already, just simply select this by right clicking it and then go over in timeline settings. And here you can change the format of this. So right now, by default, it is at 1920 by 1080, which is mostly for YouTube videos. But if you go ahead and unselect this and you can change this around so you can set this for instagram stories by 1080 by 1920 so this will change the screen for you and now you can simply drag in your clip over here and this will fit in with your timeline like this and then you can go ahead and export this and upload it to instagram so this was it for this video i hope you liked it and i'll see you in the next one